Hi there, I'm Tom Dican. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a database to the app that we set up in the previous part with Vercel extremely quickly, and you'll see that it's extremely quick to set up a database as well. So here we are, set up before, and there it is, another Galaxy, as, as, as we had before. And now we want to add a database so that we have a full production app. Uh, very easy to add a database locally, go to this link. For this, I'm going to set up a two one hosted like I would normally do and then another one hosted in full production and then another hosted for development. I'm going to use render.com, it's very cost efficient and quick and then create an account and then get, you're going to get, click here, go to Postgres, DB, and um, we can do a free one, this resets but that's absolutely fine for us to create the database. Okay, I'll create another one, production DB. And this time I'm gonna get this one, seven a month, which is extremely cheap, um, create database. While we're waiting for these to create, we will update our app to handle them. So we're gonna need to add some packages, pip install, um, python.env to have environment variables, dj database URL to make it easier for us. And then psycho, PG to binary. Install them. Make sure to write them to your requirements file. Yeah, if you'd like to, they're there. Okay, and now we're going to add them in here. So from Python, uh, there you go. Thank you. Autocomplete. Load.env. And we're going to create an environment variable file here. This will be just local. And this will hit, and this will prevent us from putting environment, sensitive environment variables into. GitHub and we'll call it secrets.env. Uh, no, I do not want to add that to Git. And I'm going to add, in fact, I'm going to add it to my Git ignore. Uh, it's here. And add secrets.env. Uh, development DB URL. And this is where we will add in whatever come, what, from, from whatever we've been added here. Because we want to add connect. So that we have our base data here, which runs, and then we want to load this will, and then this will run every time our Django app runs, and uh, or sets up, and then find the base data, and then find secrets.env, and load that into environment variables. We can test that here. Uh, let's call it cat, and then we just go print os dot environment, and then the name of development db url, and add that in here and then we can run our server again and there you go cat has appeared and we're going to add it to our databases specifically we've got our, just here we're going to set this to, our, to run if we have our production and if not then we're going to set our database to uh, our different to the local one so we might this is an environment variable that Vercel sets automatically uh, when you run the project there and set it to production. So this will get an environment variable, which we're not going to have locally, which are only going to have that URL in production, and this will set to our local one. So our local development DB URL. So we change that to development DB URL, which is currently set to cat. And then this is, we need to import this. This is what we installed. So import, thank you, autocomplete. Okay, so we've just inserted this here. And then we can see that there is an error. That's because there is no cat URL. So let's go and get the real thing. This is from our development. And now we're gonna to go to here. You see it's set up now. I'm gonna go development DB. I'm gonna go here and copy this. This is essentially, and copy that into our environment variables. This is essentially, as you probably know, this is your password here. So anybody with, this is sensitive, and you mustn't commit this to GitHub because anybody with this can gain access to your database. So I will be deleting this after and yeah, but keep that to yourself, put a password in there. Okay, and now if we run again on a server, yep, all runs and unapplied migrations as we expect. So add some data in. I'm gonna add a simple model just to demonstrate that. So examples and we're gonna add example rather, example add, and we're gonna add a Python model, models.py. Isn't there already? It isn't. 
Okay, and then fun Django DV import models. Yeah, that's right. And we're going to add a simple model that uh, that counts a visit. Models dot model. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Auto, uh, auto complete. Uh, that's actually a little bit more precise than we want, but that would be good. Okay, so we've just created this visit here with count this integer, and then we're going to and we just run our migrations, which I will just. Yeah, we've done here. So in reality, so the command is again max Python. Uh, make migration into Python. Make migrations and then the name of our app for the first time. We run, you run that for you. That will show something like uh, like this, and then we run Python manage dot py migrate, and then that will show for me though now the migrations to apply, but it will show something like like this. Apply these. So after you've done that. Created views, and we're going to add some context here. Okay, so we're going to go visit uh, visits, and we're just going to update the first one. So, and if if the visits exists, if there is one visit, then we're going to get the first visit and increase the count, and then say put that into our send that to our template, and, and then if, if it's not created, we're going to create it. So there. And then send that visit to our as contacts to our template. And now here, this is what I've just added. So add visit count, visit dot count. And now we run, go to our check if our server's running. Yep. And now open it up. Visit is not defined. I think that's because I didn't install. Yep. Uh, no. But I need to add the there. Thank you, auto complete. And here it is. I've just I realized I put that I need to. So, so this is what it should look like. And now if we go to set our server, refresh, there you go, visit count zero. And refresh, one, two, three, four. So as you can see, we've now set up a database extremely quickly. And yeah, now next thing is to put it into production. Again, this will be very easy. This is our production database now. And so we want to copy this. Now we're going to add this environment variable to our first cell app. Here we are, Tiger, looking good. And then we go and add an environment variable here, environment variables, and we go, what do we call it? Production URL, it must match, and then post in. Again, I'm gonna delete this, this is a, a password, so be careful with this. This key here must match our settings here, production DB URL, production DB URL. Okay, save, environment, oh, okay, fine, production. So one other thing we need to do, now that we have a database, we need to change our build script to run what we've just run. And so build here, and then we're gonna run, just as we've run, made our, and make our migrations here, migrate. Now we update that as well, push that up as well. Okay, so now it's ready, and now we let's visit. Great, and there you go. So that's it, extremely quickly with Vercel. We've hooked up Python with a production database, a development database, and we're all ready to go. We've also got the continuous deployment running. So whenever we make any change locally and push it up, it will work. As you can see, this is an extremely fast way to get your app going. Next thing to do would be to add a domain. That's again, very easy with Vercel. There are lots of guides. And yeah, I hope you found that really useful. It's a big accelerator.